Hello YouTube. In today's video we will talk about all the new features that will be released in version 4.0 Fontaine update, including, new gadgets, new weapon features, and new exploration mechanics. Before you continue watching this video, keep in mind that, this information is not 100% confirmed, so, please manage your expectations. And it will be officially announced by Hoyovers in the version 4.0 special program livestream. First, we are going to talk about the new gadgets from Fontaine. In version 4.0, we will get two completely brand new gadgets as a reward for reaching a certain level in Fontaine City reputation. After you increase Fontaine City reputation to level 3, you will get Crystal Fly Trap Gadget. This new gadget will help you catch crystal flies without actually catching them. The way it works is very similar to Parametric Transformer, but in this case, you need to put 30 minerals of any kind to get 15 crystal flies, and it can be placed virtually anywhere. The second gadget is Wind Powered Wind Generator. You can get it after you increase Fontaine City reputation to level 5. We don't know for sure how this new gadget works, but from the item description, this device can provide a strong lifting force for the Wind Glider user and it can only be activated when they are already using the wind glider. Maybe it's similar to Kazuha Double Jump or Wind Catcher Gadget, but you can use it in the air. Next is, New Weapon Features. Maybe some of you already know about Numa and Ujia. Basically Fontaine characters and some enemies from Fontaine region will have additional attributes in addition to the existing elements. They are called Numa and Ujia. Playable characters from the upcoming region as well as the Hydro Traveler will get some additional visual effects on the brand new weapons. It will glow yellow or purple, depending on the attribute. Unfortunately, non-Fontaine characters can't use this feature although it's just a visual effect. Next is version 4.0 upgrades and changes. In 4.0, the artifact storage limit will be increased from 1500 to 1800 providing more space to farm for the upcoming Fontaine artifacts. All the characters will have new animations in the party setup, and you can also change the background in the party setup menu with every region in Tevat. Last but not least, new exploration mechanics. Because the Fontaine region consists of several large islands, there will be some new transportation system. One of them is this boat from the version 3.8 special program live stream and the other one is Fontaine Airship. It will take you from station to station as part of a convenient exploration of a new location, similar to Choo Choo Cart in Belurium Mirage. Using the airship, players will be able to move around the new region. Unfortunately, you will not be allowed to steer the aircraft on your own. The airship can only fly between special stations that act as waypoints. That's it for today's video. What do you think about these new features? Comment below.